There was a major rally in Washington, D.C., of course, about 800 sibling marches across the world. It's tough to gauge, of course, the total attendance, but we're talking about tens, likely hundreds of thousands of people speaking out against the Second Amendment and for gun control. Now, of course, the proximate cause for all of this was the shooting in Broward County, recently the uh, shooting of the children. And because there is an emotionally reactive group of people who either have never been exposed to the facts and the truth about that shooting about guns as a whole or simply have ignored it if they have been exposed to it or are simply useful, happy, bleating idiots, uh, the, the, the puppets of the puppet master speaking out against the elemental freedoms in the United States. The fact is that it was not fundamentally a gun that killed those kids in the school in Florida. What killed those kids was political correctness. What killed those kids was political correctness. So very, very briefly, there was concern going back in the day about disparities in arrest records for different racial groups. So you got to East Asians were arrested very little, whites arrested a little bit more, Hispanics arrested more, and blacks arrested even more. Now, of course, because nobody wants to deal with root causes, or very few people want to deal with root causes these days, the answer was, White racism, white racism, and because nobody wants to deal with root causes, then what happens is you just try and play whack-a-mole with the symptoms rather than address the causes. So there was concern over these disparities and what was called the school-to-prison pipeline. So what happened was, uh, under the Obama administration, financial incentives were provided to schools that lowered their numbers, that arrested fewer blacks and Hispanics. So what did they do? Well, they put in quotas. And they said, okay, after this time in the month, you can't arrest anymore. And I guess like teachers penciling in the right marks, it makes the numbers look better, but doesn't deal with the problem at all. And of course, gangs knew this, so they started using students after particular times in the month. So you get fewer arrests, you get more lawlessness. And then what happens is people who are actually engaged in criminal behaviors don't end up with a record that would show up in background checks. So we've got Nicholas Cruz doing, I mean, completely illegal things. He's holding guns to people's heads. He's making death threats and all that. But you see, he can't be arrested. And you've got to keep your numbers down and fulfill the quotas. And so what happens is then Cruz can go out and buy a gun. And he is not helped. If help was even possible, who knows. But it was not the gun that did it. It was political correctness and the quota system and the exclusion from the rule of law of particular minorities. And this is to some degree the Ferguson effect, but this is the reality.